in this session we will discuss about turning forces on present bodies turning forces on present bodies okay so before going to discuss about turning forces on a rigid body we need to discuss about what is a rigid body means we need to discuss about what is a rigid body and some important terms some terms related to rigid body sometimes related to rigid body this is important to discuss about rigid body so what is rigid body let us consider an example like this it is a wooden box when you apply some force on this one like pull this box one right side it is doesn't get deformed in the same way take some metal this is a metal rod okay here we apply some force on this one like pull this rod like this it doesn't get deformed in the same way take another object like stone in this also you apply some force to the right side it doesn't get deformed this type of objects are called rigid bodies what is rigid body the definition a body which doesn't doesn't get deformed under the action of a force or number of forces or number of forces is called a rigid body in the important term is a body doesn't get deformed in this situation so this type of bodies are called rigid bodies okay so let us discuss about some important points related to rigid body the first one is point of action of force consider a rigid body like this this is a rigid body and this is the centroid of the rigid body that is o next what is action of force here we have placed some force in this point this is considered a point on the rigid body this is a point a here we have applied some force yes this is a force here we have applied in this point we have applied some force this point is called point of action of force okay the point of action of force means a point on a rigid body where a force acts is called the point of action of force here the point a is called the point of action of force okay so consider in this way another point on this rigid body like this this is another point that is b and we have apply some force on this point some force at this point okay so here the point is called point of action of force the point b is called point of action of force okay so in this way when a force applied on rigid body where the force acts is called that point is called action of force okay the point on a rigid body where a force acts is called the point of action of force so in this rigid body the point a is one of the point of action of force and so in this in this rigid body we have applied another force at b so this point also called point of action of force of the rigid body so this is the important term related to rigid body that is point of action of force what is the definition of point of action of force the point on a rigid body where a force where a force acts is called point of action of force is called point of action of force here the point a is called the point of action of force and 
I consider another example like B here the point B is called the point of action of force okay next let us discuss about another important term line of action of force what is line of action of force let us consider a rigid body like this this is a rigid body and this is center next when you apply some force on this point here we have applied some force okay so this point is called a so this is this point a is called point of action of force okay so if you draw a line draw a line passing through the point of action of force and this is moves in the same direction of action of force so this line is called line of action of force okay what is this this line is called line of action of force this is an imaginary line so an imaginary line passing to the point of action of force this is point of action of force this line passes through the this point of action of force okay you have an imaginary line passing through the point of action of force and drawn in the same direction in which the force acts is called the line of action of force okay here the line is x y so here the x y line is called line of action of force line of action of force what is the definition of line of action of force an imaginary line here the x y is an imaginary line here an imaginary line passing here x y is an imaginary line he is passing through the through the point of point of action of force and drawn in the same direction it is drawn in the same direction of the force which acts it is drawn in the same direction of the force okay and drawn in the same same direction in which in which the force acts acts is called line of action of force here the xy line is called the line of action of force this xy line is called the line of action of force which is passes through the point of action of this passes through the point of action of force okay so this line is called line of action of force okay understand this is the one, another one important term related to rigid body next next we will discuss about some another important point like principle of transmissibility of a force this is another important term in this say in this session that is principle of transmissibility of force principle of transmissibility of a force so in a rigid body in a rigid body this is the center of the rigid body and this is point of what is this this is point of action of force and uh, consider a line passing through the point of action of force this is a point of action of force this is applied force and this line is called line of action of force okay so this is center here the force is called here the uh, force at point a is one of the force and we apply the same and consider another point on the middle it is b and apply some force like this this is one of the force and this is another force like this okay here the two forces like this is 
R and this force is P and this force is S. Okay. So here the two forces R and P are equal and opposite. So they are counterbalanced each other. Okay. So they are cancel each other. And the another force is S. So this is the leading force here. Hence S is acting on a point B which causes the motion. So because of this force the body will move. Okay. This force is called another force. This is another force. This causes the motion of the body. So in other words the point of action of force the point of action of force shifts to the another point that is here the point of action of force A is shifted to B. So here B also a point of action of force. The same can be done any point on the rigid body. So this this application and this explanation can be done can be proved in the same any point on the this rigid body and consider a line of action of force. Okay. So suppose a point on the line of action consider another point on the line of action of force apply this principle like this this application hence the point of action of force can be transmitted anywhere along the line of action of force. So this is called the principle of transmissibility of a force. Okay. That means we can transfer the line of uh, action of point of action of force anywhere in the line of action of force. This is called the principle of transmissibility of a force. What is the definition? What is the definition here? State that the point, the point of action of force, the point of action of force can be transmitted point of action of force can be transmitted anywhere along the line of along the line of action of force the force without causing any material material disturbance that is any material difference in the movement of the body movement of the body okay that means the point of action of force can be transmitted anywhere Point of action of force can be transmitted anywhere along the line of action of force, action of the force without causing any material difference in the movement of the body. So this is called, this principle is called principle of transmissibility of a force. Okay. So here the, these are the very, very important terms related to rigid body. So what are the important terms? One is point of action of force. And second one is line of action of force and third one is principle of transmissibility of force. These are the important terms related to rigid body.